Okay, so now let's look at group one in a little bit more detail. So the group one elements are over here and these are called the alkali earth metals, okay, or the alkali metals. And one thing about all group one elements is they all have one outer shell electron in common. So what that means is that this structure will always look like this. No matter how many shells you have in between on the outer shell, you will always have one electron waiting like that and just one electron and the way that group one elements actually react is they end up losing this electron to form a noble gas structure and so they're always trying to lose this electron to react and this gives us a clue into the reactivity what happens to the reactivity when you go down the group so as you go down the group the reactivity actually increases and the reason for that is essentially this electron is held less strongly as you go down the group because when you go down the group the period number increases and the period number is linked to the number of energy levels in the atom and so what that means is we'll draw up here that if you you have an element in period two for example you'd have two shells and it's still in group one so you'd have one outer shell electron but if instead you have this element or a different element in period four you'd have one two three four energy levels and so you can see here the outer shell electron here is much much further away than it is over here and the idea is that as this distance increases it becomes easier and easier to lose this electron and remember how do group one elements react well they need to lose this electron so when you make it easier to lose that electron the atom becomes more reactive okay so that's why as you go down the group the period number increases the number of shells increase the distance between the nucleus and the outer shell electron increases becomes easier to lose that electron and therefore it becomes more reactive okay now we do need to know a couple of common properties that all group one atoms have they're all very reactive and they are all soft metals so you can actually cut all of these with a knife and because they're so reactive we tend to store them in oil and that is to stop them from reacting with water and oxygen in the air now we do need to be aware of a few common reactions that the first one we're going to look at is water so all group one atoms and elements react with water in the same way so we've got two group one metals here and you can see they react in the same way so sodium plus water gives you sodium hydroxide and hydrogen lithium plus water gives you lithium hydroxide plus hydrogen common themes are that you always form a hydroxide and you always form hydrogen gas so when you do this reaction with water you always see bubbling in the water that's the hydrogen gas okay next one is oxygen so whenever you react a group one element with oxygen you form you form an oxide so in this case if it's sodium you form sodium oxide and if it's lithium you form lithium oxide and what you notice here is that the proportions are the same as well so it's Na2O and just like that you'd also form Li2O that's how you'd form your oxide and you notice all of these equations are balanced uh, to make sure that the same number of atoms are on the left as on the right okay the next one we've got is chlorine and the reaction with chlorine is always you form a chloride and you can see we have a sodium lithium or any other group one element you can substitute anything in there you'd always form the metal chloride okay so sodium chloride or lithium chloride okay so that's all we need to know and let's do a quick quiz to wrap things up and recap okay so here are our quiz questions feel free to pause the video have a go and then come back and we'll go through the answers okay welcome back these are the answers for the quiz question you can see um give the chemical reaction that occurs when francium reacts with water so you have francium plus water goes to francium hydroxide plus hydrogen and you need to balance it out just like that give the chemical reaction that occurs when rubidium reacts with chlorine you have rubidium plus chlorine goes to rubidium, rubidium chloride and once again you balance it out like that so it's the exact same thing as we saw previously you're just substituting in a different metal in the reaction question number three why does reactivity increase when you go down the group well as we explained when you go down the group the distance between the nucleus and the outer shell electron increases becomes easier to lose that electron and therefore the atom becomes more reactive because that's how group one elements react okay so hopefully that makes sense and i'll see you guys in the next one